Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Many refrigerator repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to unplug the power cord. To reach components behind the rear access panel, you will need to pull the refrigerator away from the wall. Before you do this, raise both front leveling legs. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread all of the screws to release the access panel to reach components like the condenser fan motor and water inlet valve. To replace the fan motor, reach in and push the fan blade off of the motor shaft. Using a 5 16 inch wrench, unthread the two mounting screws to release the fan motor from the mounting bracket. Depress the tab to disconnect the wire connector to fully remove the old motor. Install the new condenser fan motor by first connecting the wire connector. Align the motor on the bracket and thread the mounting screws. Align the fan blade on the motor shaft, then push until the blade is fully seated. You may need to readjust the mounting bracket after installation. With the repair completed, reinstall the access panel. Push the refrigerator back against the wall and lower the front leveling legs. If you need to uninstall the freezer and refrigerator doors, first remove the top hinge cover. Support the door and use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the three mounting screws securing the hinge. Lift off the hinge and have an assistant help you to remove the freezer door. Now use a 5 16 inch wrench or nut driver to fully unthread the left side screw securing the center hinge assembly. Loosen the two screws on the right. Open the refrigerator door and you can remove the center hinge assembly. With the hinge assembly detached, you can fully remove the refrigerator door. To reinstall the doors, first make sure the spacer is in place on the hinge pin and the pin is properly inserted into the lower hinge bracket. Reposition the refrigerator door on the hinge pin. Reinsert the center hinge assembly's lower pin into the refrigerator door as you align the assembly under the right side screws. Thread the left side screw. Tighten the right side screws. Make sure the spacer is in place on the center hinge. Then realign the freezer door on the hinge pin. Confirm the spacer is in place, then reposition the top hinge and thread the screws to secure.
snap on the cover. To uninstall the ice maker, first remove the ice bucket. Using a quarter inch socket or nut driver, fully unthread the lower screw, securing the ice maker to the liner. Loosen the two upper screws. With the screws loosened, you can lift the ice maker off of the screws. Lift the tab to disconnect the wire harness to fully remove the ice maker. To access components behind the evaporator cover, first slide out the glass shelf. Next, fully unthread the upper ice maker mounting screws. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the screw to release the ice maker harness cover. Slide the fill tube extension off of the fill tube. Detach all of the screw hole plugs. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws, securing the evaporator cover. Pull the evaporator cover forward from the top. Push the ice maker wire harness through the slot and you can fully remove the evaporator cover. Remove the insulator block to reach the heat probe, evaporator fan motor, and the defrost heater. To replace the defrost heater, first unthread the screw securing the heat probe to the heater and pull off the probe. Next, disconnect the defrost heater wire connector. Free the wire from the fan housing, then cut the retainer securing the wire to the rear liner. Now remove the heater shield by using pliers to bend back a retaining bracket. Remove the two polystyrene foam blocks. You can now detach the heater from the mounting clips to fully remove. Install a new defrost heater by first positioning the wire in the polystyrene foam blocks. Then push the blocks into place. Snap the heater into the mounting clips. Realign the shield, then bend the retaining bracket back in to secure. Position the wire behind the fan housing and secure the wire in the cut retainer. Connect the wire connector. Reinstall the heat probe by inserting the long end into the drain hole as you hook the probe onto the heater. Squeeze the top half of the probe as you thread the screw to secure. Reposition the insulator block. Use string to help feed the ice maker wire harness through the slot of the evaporator cover as you fully position the cover. This will require some effort.
Rethread all of the screws to secure the cover. Snap in the screw hole plugs. Realign the wire harness cover and thread the screw to secure. Continue the reassembly by sliding the fill tube extension over the fill tube. Partially thread the upper ice maker mounting screws. Replace the glass shelf. Reinstall the ice maker by first connecting the wire harness. Align the ice maker on the fill tube as you hook the brackets on the upper screws. Tighten the screws. Thread and tighten the lower screw. Replace the ice bucket. With the reassembly complete, plug the power cord back in. And your refrigerator should be ready for use.